Hello everybody, here we are today talking about the fact that the Los Angeles Kings have fired their head coach Todd McCullen. Now before we get into that, please make sure to subscribe if you're new to me or hockey, whatever the case may be. That being said, let's get on into it. So yeah, I had videos that I was going to pre-record today, but of course there's a lot of things happening in the hockey world and today McClellan's firing is one of those things. So Todd has been the coach for five seasons with the Kings. This was his fifth season, so basically four and a half seasons into his stint with LA. He gets the boot. He had gone 160, 130, and 44 in this time and had been able to make the playoffs two seasons. Actually, the past two seasons, they made it to the postseason. Um, so this year, they were hoping to make it a third consecutive you know, year to make a postseason run and to actually do something with it. Because prior to this, they'd lost in the first round to the Edmonton Oilers both occasions. So this year was supposed to be a step forward. The problem is, though, is this King side that had such a good start to the year is just in a rut, a big one, because at the time they had a seven game losing streak that turned into an eight game losing streak, if I'm not mistaken. And at the time of it being seven games, I did a video talking about how the Kings, while they were in that bit of a bad spell, they had six out of those seven losses being one goal games. They were right there in the thick of it, and they were still in a really good spot for the playoffs, had something like a 94% chance of making it, and everything was going to be okay. However, when you lose, 14 out of 17 games, that's basically a quarter of your season that you can kiss goodbye, which is exactly what the Kings have done as of late. You've had guys like Dowdy basically saying guys are just chasing points because they had a 3-1 lead against Buffalo, I think, in one game. Ended up losing that, if I'm not mistaken. And you're in a spot where when you go 3-8-6 and six, and some other teams start winning some games, they're going to be able to catch up to you. Not only catch up to you, but possibly pass you, which is exactly what we've seen. As the Kings were third in the Pacific Division, but the Oilers, thanks to their historic 16-game win streak, which is possibly going to be able to pass the Penguins, mind you, for the all-time record, are now in the third spot in the division, whereas LA got bumped down to the first wildcard spot. And the problem is... The cushion isn't super big. They just have a two-point cushion, if I believe, over the next team that is out of a playoff spot. So the Kings are needing a change, and as the old saying goes, a lot easier to fire the coach than it is the player. So McClellan is now gone. Jim Hiller will be the interim head coach. Uh, Hiller did play a season for the Kings when I looked it up on Hockey Reference, and he has got a big task on his hand to make sure that this team is going to be able to get back on the right track and make the playoffs yet again because like we've talked about before with the Kings while their rebuild slash retool wasn't necessarily crazy long it was something that when it was all said and done and they started to turn things around a little bit the Kings fan base and the organization as well I think has bigger hopes and expectations of what they can be able to do they are expecting another playoff appearance because they've had two straight years of it. However, they are expecting to get back and maybe make a deep run because the Kings haven't had a deep run in a minute. Um, and this team, I think, itself has bigger aspirations. So if you're in a spot where you might not even make the playoffs again, McClellan's going to be the guy that ends up facing a lot of the scrutiny as this organization looks to possibly win that third championship, something that is going to be very difficult now with Hiller having to get this team on the right track and back to getting wins. Now, will he be able to do that? That remains to be seen, but it's going to be a fun storyline for the second half of the season after the All-Star break. As for McClellan, this guy is not falling. This is a coach that is 56 years old from when I looked that up, and he's got a lot of experience coaching in the NHL and has seen a lot of success. Whether or not you believe in him, I know a lot of Oilers fans probably have a bad taste in their mouth um, from how the Oilers weren't able to perform the way they wanted some seasons with him. The regardless of all that, he has a lot of years with San Jose where they were able to make the playoffs. He has a nearly conference final run with the Edmonton Oilers back in 2017 and then again made the playoffs with the Kings. So three stints with three different teams and they were able to make the playoffs all three occasions that he was there. I know some people may you know, dive into all the strategy and all the analytics about McClellan, but the point remains a lot of these individuals that are ownership or GM may look at him and say this is an individual that is still relatively young this is an individual that has been able to guide all the teams that he's had at his disposal to the playoffs and is somebody maybe that is the best coach we could get at the moment so i don't exactly know what's going to happen to him but it is kind of funny he's coached with the sharks the oilers and now the kings 
does he stay in the Pacific Division? Is he could possibly get another head coaching role? I don't know. But another fun fact that I wanted to put out there is with McCullen being the sixth head coach fired this season, he is one of four coaches that were fired that made the playoffs last year. So you make the playoffs, I guess you could say expectations are relatively high because four of them have got the boot. Anyway, what are your thoughts on all this? Do you think the Kings made the right decision here? Do you think McClellan will end up coaching with another team? Let me know all that stuff down below in the comments. Also, please make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. I'm going to be putting out the Monahan video after this. Anyway, everybody, please make sure to stay safe. Have a great night. Nigel of hockey, all right. Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.